Wow, today is definitely a second coffee cup kind of day. It's really gotten cold. I even noticed that the air is getting drier, like in our bedroom. This morning I woke up and my throat was all scratchy, and I called up to Justin, and I was like, Can you grab me a hoodie? So then he made fun of me, so then I flicked the light on him. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to Pignet. If you're not familiar with my channel, nice to meet you. My name is Jesse. You're catching me on the tail end of a series that I'm calling the 13 Copic Doodles of Halloween. Every day until Halloween, I'll be uploading a new video with a woodland animal dressed in a Halloween costume. If you've missed previous videos from this series, you can find a link to a playlist in the description box below so you can catch up. Today is day number 12, and I'm drawing a skunk dressed as a cowboy, and I thought I would take this time to tell a little story. So pull up a blankie and just listen, because I'm telling a story about a hamster of mine. So I had a couple hamsters growing up, and I think that they're so fun, by the way. I always tell Justin, I'm like, I'm going to get me an office hamster just for my office. And he always says, no, one of these days I'm going to get one. So I had a few different hamsters, and they were all very different. All of the hamsters, though, had one thing in common, and that is they all wanted to get the heck out of their cage. At some point or another, all of them escaped, and then we found them, and then the first one that I had, it would escape, and then you'd find it, and then it would escape, and then you'd find it. And no matter what you did, it would find some way to get out of that cage. I don't know how it did it. Like, one of my hamsters escaped and crawled into my bunk bed. I was on the top bunk, and it crawled into the bunk bed and was crawling on my back when I was sleeping. Another one escaped and walked across the kitchen floor when my mom had guests over. <laughs> the third hamster and the last hamster that I had, his name was Skittle. He went missing, as all of my hamsters did at one point or another. And he was gone for a few days. We were like, we're, we're never going to find this hamster. We were looking all over. And then one day, we were sitting in our bedroom, and Skittle just walks across the floor wearing a dress. Let's back up a little bit. Maybe some of you guys don't know, but back in like the 80s and 90s, trolls were a toy that people had. It was just like a doll that you would have and you'd collect them. When I was little, I bought my best friend a troll for her birthday. Our birthdays are actually two days apart and she's my cousin and we've been best friends since we were basically like born. So our family calls us the twins. I found this troll in a store that was right next to one that looked just like it. They were like basically twins and they were, their hair was just colored in reverse of each other and their dresses I think were colored in reverse. The troll's name was Kira and that's my best friend's name and it was even spelled like her name which isn't a way that it's normally spelled. So to find this troll named Kira and it's spelled the same exact way it was like destiny. I got her the troll named Kira and I bought myself the other one. I'm, I tried to find pictures of the other one and I just couldn't find it. I could find Kira though but I couldn't remember the name of the one that I had. You can see the dress is like this kind of like plasticky material. When it was off of the troll, it held its shape still. And this is my only guess at how Skittle put this dress on. I think it was laying on its side, so it kind of made like a cylinder shape. And I think that Skittle climbed through it and then it stuck to his body. I don't know how long he was wearing that dress, but either way, he was wearing it. And I gotta say, it looked pretty good on him. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like how this skunk turned out, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. And if you'd like to color this skunk yourself, I'm offering free coloring pages on my Facebook page when you search the word Pignet. Download it, print it out, color it however you'd like, and then share it with me on social media using the hashtag Pignet. I'm also offering originals of this on my Etsy shop if you search Pignet. Basically just search Pignet. That's where you'll always find me. P-I-G-K-N-I-T. Leave me a comment below letting me know what kind of pets you have or a story that you have about one of your pets. We're down to the wire. We have one day left after this. Tomorrow is the last day, which means tomorrow is Halloween, which means I'm in Pennsylvania right now. As I'm recording this, it's actually Thursday, and I have to get all of these videos done because we're leaving tomorrow morning, so it's been exhausting. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Um, Were you afraid of E.T.? No. What? Oh, it's like my sister's favorite movie. Ugh, we used terrifying. to watch it a lot. 